All right, let's pick up where we left off in Ray's Arithmetic Lesson 5. We're still reading the numbers 1 through 100. Last time in Lesson 5 we started... Um, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to need to change something here. It's actually 0 where we started. We didn't exactly start at 1. We started at 0, and we counted our way. We're sort of doing a random pattern-following count through up to 100. And so here in Part 2 of Lesson 5... This is part two, and if you remember where we left off, we put these two numbers up on the screen, and uh, individually, what are these? The one on the left is a what? That's a seven, and the one on the right is a what? A zero, and we put them together, and we created a new number called what? Seventy. Okay, and that's where we left off, because you know all we're doing as we make our way through the numbers up to 100 is we're taking each individual digit or figure for the individual number that we're dealing with. Let's, let me just kind of do a little review. Let me change my pen. Take that off of there. Switch pins. Okay. We're taking 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm giving away a very important secret here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we're taking those 10 individual digits, those figures for the numbers 0 through 9, and that's what we're using to create all of our numbers from 1 through 100. And in fact, those are all the numerals you'll ever need to know to create all the numbers you can ever think of creating. And this is basically the alphabet of our numbers. These are the ABCs of our numbers and of our arithmetic. There, I'm giving away a very top classified secret right there, so you better be careful who you tell that to. Um, so we'll just continue. Now I better take these off. It's too much of a cheat sheet. It's like putting an answer key in front of you with, while you're taking a test. Not good. All right. Well, so we left off at 70. So now take that off. We're still working with sevens because that's what we're putting through its paces now is the seven. So seven zero made 70. How about if we put a one, pair it up with our seven, and that seven with the one in front of it is what number now? Can you guess? It's one of those teen numbers. 17. Ooh, I know how that works. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I'll let you guess the ones after that. Okay, so this one's 17. All right, well, and like we've done before, take them and switch them around, and it's no longer 17. It is now 71, much bigger than 17. Okay. Uh, how about um, bring a 2 back up here and put our 7 next to 2. What number do we have here? 27. Correct. Okay. And if we switch them around, put the 7 and then the 2, what number is that? 72. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's use a 3 again. He's been kind of sitting on the sidelines. Pair him up with the 7. What number do we have here? 3 and a 7. In that order is 37. Now in that order it's 37. How about we take that same 3 and that same 7, flip them around. Well, let's do it. Let's put the 7 first and then the 3. Now the 37 becomes 73. All right. Now let's bring... Well, here, you tell me what number is this. That's a 4. Still using our 7. Put next to that. So the 4 in front of the 7 makes this number altogether. It is 47. All right. How about, um, well, before we go on, let's, you know, do the old switch over like we've been doing. So now the 47 becomes, what is this? 74. Okay. And now let's get five off the bench, bring him back up out on the field, and put him with seven. Did I, make, did I give seven too long a tail? Eh, just a little bit. Okay. So what's the five and the seven like this written? Uh, what number is that? We read that as 57. Yep. Like Heinz 57 steak sauce. Yeah. 57, uh, there's another different things they have set 57 in. Well, 57, all right. 
and then if we flip those guys around, put seven first, and then five, what number is that? 75. Okay. How about we bring six up here? Six with the seven is, that's 67. Ah, but what if we make them trade places? Same two numbers, but now it's a seven in front of the six. What number do we have here? 76. Okay. And if we bring the twin brother of seven and put him next to seven, that's what? 77. Okay, let's move on to the eight so we can finish this up. Well, what number is this? <clears throat> that's an eight. Yep. I'm telling you what it is before I put it up on the board. Well, that's an eight. Um, we put the eight over here, and just like the other ones, we put a zero next to it. Instantly magnify that by ten times. So now instead of an eight, it's what? Eighty. Eight zero is how you write eighty. Okay, and likewise, we stick a 1 in front of the 8, turn him into a teenager. That is 18. All right, 18. Well, we can instantly age that 8 real fast, make him elderly. No offense against those who are this age, but 8 in front of 1 makes this what? How do we read that? 81, right. Okay, 81. Well... Let's keep working with the 8. How about we put a 2 in front of the 8? How do we read this number here? 28. Yeah, now 8's in his 20s. Getting older. Okay. Well, and like we did before, let's age him radically in an instant. Now 22 becomes 80. 28 becomes 82. Okay. How about getting a 3 in on the action? There's a 3 and an 8. Pair them up, and how do we read that? 38. All right. And we make them trade places. That's what? 83. Okay. Now let's get a 4 up here. Or actually, what number is that? That's a 4. Okay. And still working with our 8. What number is this? 48. All right. And likewise, so we follow a very strict pattern here, so it's really not random counting. It's a random reading. It really is systematic. Okay, so the 48 is now what? By turning those around. 8 first, 84. All right, with the 8 in front of the 4, it's 84. Okay, how about, let's get a 5 in here with the 8. So now this is... 58. 58 it is. Sold. Okay, how about change the order on those two, put the 8 in front of the 5. Now this is, what, 85. Very good. You're getting really good at this. Okay, let's get a 6 up here. 6 in front of an 8, we read that as 68. All right. However, now it's 86. Yeah, okay. We better hurry up. We're running out of time, huh? How about we put these two guys together? What number is that? 78. Very good. Okay. And then if we make them flip, go left to right, right to left, the 7 and 8 now becomes 87 when the eight's in front of the seven. Okay. And we get eight's twin brother in. Now what does that become? 88, yeah, that's easy. Okay. All right, getting closer to the end, to the finish line, I can see it from here. What number is that? That's our nine. And just like before with the other guys, we make him 10 times larger instantly by putting a zero next to him and now our nine becomes 90. Okay. And one more time with the teenagers, it's one in front of a nine makes what? 19. That's the last of the teen numbers, the tens. Okay. 
And if we turn those guys around, put the 9 in front of the 1, now what does 19 become when you write it like this? Well, it's not 19 at all. It's 91. Okay. And... A 2 and a 9, that's, what, 29. Yep, you're getting the hang of this. And if we change the order on those two, what is that? 92. Okay. I hope you're trying to answer these before I give it away. I really do. How about, um, what's that? 39. Okay. And then, of course, you know, that's going to mean this is, what, 93, 93. Okay, just a few more, and we'll be all finished. Mm, let's get our 4 in with our 9. If you write these carefully, I should say, if you don't write these carefully, these two numbers, a 4 can look like a 9, and a 9 can look like a 4. You can imagine. If you get to scribbling these, they, kind of, they can easily get mixed up. But anyhow, these are, well, as I've got them up here on the board. What is this number that we're looking at? How do you read it? 49. Okay. And if we do it the other way, put the 9 in front of the 4, what is this? 94. Very good. Okay, home stretch. Let's go with a 5 and a 9. That makes what? That's a 59. And a 9 paired with a 5, how do we read that? 95, but we're almost to 100, aren't we? Getting closer. Let's see. How about a 6 and a 9? We read that as, what? 69. Okay. And we do this, and it becomes, what? 96. Okay. I'm going to let you tell me what's, what are individually, what's, what's this one? That's a s seven, yep, I didn't want to give it away before you said it. And that's a what? That's a nine. Okay. Well, let's see, I want to make sure I pick up where I left off. Yeah, I know what we'll do, we'll just, yeah. We'll do this. What number is that? 97. Okay. Well, a couple more, I promise. What number is that? 89. Very good. Okay. So that means this has to be none other than 98. Okay. Oh, I can almost see that finish line. I'm almost there. Okay, here we go. What number is that? 99. And we're just... Well, we are there. We got it. Okay. So this number is 100. 100. One with two zeros after it. That makes 100. So you see how we built this great big number, 100, out of three little digits... Let me get my uh, deal here. A 1 and a 0 followed by another 0 makes 100. So we're building all these numbers bigger and bigger out of the same little building blocks. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Did you see that? It's in, you can see how we put them together and create new numbers out of different combinations. That is how that works. Well, anyway, that's all we're doing for today is reading the numbers 1 through 100, but actually 0 through 100. And so we'll just... Say, well, you know, I meant to tell you we're done because we're done. In any case, uh, we'll be going on to bigger and better things next lesson. We'll see you then. You can always visit us at raisearithmetic.wordpress.com for information on homeschooling ideas and solutions and Raise Arithmetic.